All right, Secretary Gutierrez, thank you very much for taking a couple of minutes for us. Let's talk about the, the subject of immigration. Uh, I, I heard a study that says there are perhaps 150,000 undocumented immigrants in Michigan alone. What's the answer to either getting them in or getting them out? Well, I, I, first of all, I wouldn't doubt that. Uh, but the big answer, which I think is what our lawmakers miss, is to have a legal immigration system that works. Because right now we are forcing, say, agriculture, we are forcing farms to either go out of business or to hire whoever they can find. Now, I'm sure they look at the documents, and but who knows where the documents come from. And But the, the reality is that we need the workforce. And for some reason, we don't want to recognize it. So because we have a legal system that is so dysfunctional, um, because of that, we have illegal immigration. So I put the accountability right on Congress, and they've got to fix the problem. We've had the same system in place by, by, for about 50 years. As you're, as you're aware, the argument is that you, you can't legalize people who are here illegally. The people who are ir, here illegally are costing perhaps a billion dollars here in Michigan alone. I mean, are these arguments correct, or, or have we lost sight of the real problem? Well, I think you, know, you have to look at the economy and the multiplier effect. What, what would our economy be? if we didn't have the 11 million people doing these jobs where would we where would all these businesses be so you know i think we have to look at it be realistic um uh, face up to our own reality confront it and fix the problem i don't think we're going to deport 11 million people i don't think we're going to hand them a passport somewhere in the middle is the answer um but Beyond that, the real big challenge is the new system, the new legal system, and that's where the politics come in. And to be perfectly honest, I think the, the bill that's in the Senate is very good. It's a step forward. It's a lot better than the status quo, but we're still not going to have enough. And I don't know how we're going to supplement that gap. Where's the, the problem here? The, the, the Democrats, the liberals are all for reforming immigration. There are a ton of conservatives and Republicans who believe the same thing needs to be done, but yet it just is not getting done. Yeah, for example, some would like, uh, you know, border enforcement to be the number one priority. Uh, some want to legalize the 11 million undocumented, but want a very low future flow because they've got this idea that immigrants take away jobs as opposed to adding jobs. Um, and, and that's where you get the politics. Not, not everyone is clean on this, and people blame Republicans, but Democrats are, you know, they, they've got their own agenda as well. And that's why we have not been able to come up with a system that works for us. And we have to, because, you know, Canada is eating our lunch, <clears throat> and so is Australia. They've got a good system. They've got a system that serves their economy. Uh, just to give you an example, our legal system includes 7% for skills-based, you know, surgically looking at what skills do we need in this country, let's find them, only 7%. Uh, Canada's 25, Australia's 41, they've, they've updated their systems, we haven't. So if you were in charge and somebody said, okay, you're going to fix this problem, what is your solution? Well, I, I think one thing that, that we need to get through, and, and Congress just has a hard time with this, is you have to trust the private sector. You cannot control this from Washington. You cannot control this through five different government agencies. And I, the, the new bill, again, a lot better, better than the status quo, a step forward. There is so much central control that, you know, you just make it tough. You make it tough on businesses. It's tough enough to be a business person. It's tough enough to run a small business. My gosh, now, you know, you've got to compete with the government, you know, and government regulations and stand in line and fill out all these papers. And so I, I, I think that is one of the things. Trust the, the, the private sector. Number two is fix the legal system. Fix the legal system. We can build a wall that's 500 feet tall, but unless we have a legal system that works, we're going to have a dysfunctional system. Last question. You were, uh, ran a business here in Michigan. Uh, the, the aim of this conference is to not only strengthen Detroit business, but also, as the governor is saying, he wants to bridge western and, and, uh, and eastern Michigan. Uh, w how would you characterize the state of Michigan uh, business-wise as opposed to 10 years ago or so? Well, uh, I mean, what, what I've seen, coming back now, uh, looking 
around the state. It, it, it looks very prosperous. It looks like there's growth. It looks like things are, have emerged that weren't here before. There, there's no question that on the southwest side being closer to or being a, a sort of Chicago, on the Chicago side, there's a lot of dependence on the big city of Chicago. Uh, on the east, I would imagine that they're waiting for Detroit to 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 see where it's going to go and I think that's a great example Detroit population declining 25 percent what do you do when that happens uh, Detroit could use a very strategic immigration system what kind of skills do they need what kind of uh, jobs aren't being opened what kind of entrepreneurs what kind of businesses uh, that could be part of the solution depending on where they want to go what the strategy is that could be one solution but a declining population always means a declining economy. Secretary, thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Pleasure.